Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Sheet Metal, and tonight we're going to do something different. Uh, we'll get back to the uh, all aluminum Jaguar E type nose. If you haven't been watching that, check it out. Well, tonight I'm going to show you some little crazy thing that happened when I first started wheeling back in the mid 80s. Um, accidentally, a little beard hair fell on my aluminum panel. Doesn't matter, it can be steel also. Copper, brass, bronze, doesn't matter. And that little beard here, I didn't notice it, and I'm wheeling. And if it gets stuck on the wheel, and in this case here, it's stuck on the wheel right now, it'll print itself over and over. It's foreign material, and that's one of the things I mention a lot in both the class and a lot of my videos. If you get a piece of foreign material on the wheel, it'll print itself over and over again. So I was absolutely amazed. The little beard hair fell on the, the aluminum and it printed itself over and over again. I just wasn't thoroughly paying attention. It's stuck on the wheel now. And if we do a little close up here, Mark's running the camera. You can see it's printed a whole bunch of, and who would think that a beard, a beard hair would have enough strength to, to make an impression on even steel. This is aluminum here, but it, it's making the impression. So it was from those humble beginnings, uh, an idea was born. I'm sure I'm not the only one that ever did it. Uh, but I'll show you what the potential of that is. I'd right, have a vinyl cutter and I did the ProShaper.com logo. I don't know how it's going to come out, but we'll give it a shot. I've done it in the past, but not one this big. So I've got a steel plate here. This is 18 gauge. This is, uh, let's see, uh, 060 aluminum and an 18 gauge piece underneath it. And what I'm doing is I'm making a sandwich here. I have the logo in vinyl, cut on my vinyl cutter. I'm going to put this in here and then we'll see what happens. Got to loosen it up a little bit. I'm just going to wheel this in. Now I feel a little bit of vibration as it's going over. It's actually making the impression in the steel here as I wheel it. I can see it slightly. And it feels like I'm going over railroad tracks. I still got my beard hair on here. I gotta get that out of the way. There we go. Got it off. You should be able to pick up that noise. That's where I'm going over the letters. And I gotta make sure I get all of the border. I'll give it a little more pressure. So I tried a lot of experiments in the past. And I really haven't done much with it. It's just sort of been an idea on the shelf. I thought it would be a great thing to show you all. There's so much creativity potential with this. I always thought dashboards would be a really good thing. You could make all these custom fascia panels for a dashboard or step plates as you're walking into the car. This nice step plate, you could emboss it right in because that's what we're doing, embossing into the metal. Now you can do it with acid etch too. But this is the actual mechanical press, pressing it in. All right, so it looks like I got most of it. Well, let me give it one more. Oh, I might have lost the index on it. No, I didn't. That's right. I should be all right because it's stuck on the aluminum. There we go. Now let's see what the result is. 
we pull that off, we have a negative on the steel. It actually pressed into the steel. I don't know if you can see it. And then we're going to have to peel this off. All right, here we got a Milwaukee uh, heat gun. We tried a little WD-40 on here and it just didn't seem to do it. This is a pretty sticky vinyl sticker. So we'll try the heat gun trick. Oh, the heat gun trick is working. off her face at night. Yeah. So if you polished this beforehand, you'd get a nice contrast here. And there we have it. Proshaper.com. If you haven't visited, check it out. Proshaper.com. Classes, tools, all kinds of good stuff there. There it is embossed right in. So you can see that, uh, the uses of that. Just a vinyl cutter. Make up any kind of decal. Put it on there. Make your sandwich. And away you go. Alright, so here's another one. We've got an 18 gauge piece of steel. 060 aluminum. And we got some nice uh, stainless steel um, screen. With a 1 8 inch hole pattern in it. Let's see what this will do. So we put that on there, make a sandwich, put it in the wheel. All right, we're tightening it up and we'll give it a shot and see what we get. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see the pattern appearing on the steel here. It's really cool. So that means it's going into the aluminum really nice. So there's all kinds of perforated metal like this that you can buy. And you could do this type of patent. I'm sure people watching this will say, aha, uh -huh, I got an idea. That's what the idea is, to make more ideas. Keep the creativity going. We've only got a good start on things. We've got so much more to potentially learn. I always say that only 5% of what we can do with the English wheel and power hammers has been really discovered. There's just so much to still discover. So there we go. Let's see what the result of that is. Oh, look at that. Is that sweet or what, huh? That's, uh, if you had a buff panel, that would make a really nice dashboard. Really nice pattern. And it even does it in the steel, too. You can see it impressed into the steel, too. But it'll do it better in softer metals like aluminum or copper. That's really attractive. That's pretty, pretty sweet. So. That's another potential. Here's another one. This is just uh, simple steel expanded metal. We'll put it on this piece of aluminum. We got a better side here. Yeah, that looks a little better here. But if we polish these up or something, it would be really fancy. So, put our sandwich together, loosen this up, this is where the uh, continuous contact of the English wheel is a really nice feature. I don't think you could do this in a power hammer because it's intermittent contact, so, and it's nice and incremental. 
Uh, you could do it in a press, but it would take a monster press to press this in. You'd have to have a very large plate, and this, we're doing it, uh, you know, one little spot at a time, rolling it. And if you roll the whole panel, every bit of it, uh, the same amount, it basically won't put a compound in it because you're just making the panel bigger. You're not uh, putting that compound in. So if you object to the fact that there's a little compound, that's really not a problem. You'd have to just roll the entire panel. And we're doing this real quick here. So, so there we go. And it gives a nice matte finish to it. I didn't hit it enough right there, there's one spot it missed, see? But uh, that's a really nice looking dashboard too. Pretty sweet. So even a, a step plate, as you're walking into the car, that nice step plate, you could even make one with your, your personalized name using that, uh, the vinyl. So as a grand finale, I want to show you this one. All right, back in uh, uh, 2003, I bought a uh, CNC plasma cutter from Plasma Cam. They're out of Colorado. I didn't know anything about CNC plasma cutters. And I, I did a little research, and uh, generally the reviews on the Plasma Cam were don't buy it, it's terrible. But I took a chance. I've had it for how many years now? 16 years. Never had a problem with it. it cuts like crazy and I was learning how to use it and I took in uh, with the software I made this little butterfly um, it was purely experiments to uh, learn how to use the machine the, the software the machine and make the DXF files that you need so I made this little butterfly out of 18 gauge steel and then I, I had the idea of embossing so I took that butterfly it cuts out even a little tiny detail on the plasma cam and I ground the steel piece with just a regular uh, right angle grinder with I don't know 50 grit or something made some scratch marks in it and then I put the butterfly in the sandwich like I just showed uh, on the other stuff the uh, the uh, perforated metal and, and the, uh, the other uh, patent metal there and made a sandwich and impressed that butterfly in and all the grind marks and everything come in and it looks really very realistic like a uh, like the wing structure of a real butterfly and then I just dressed it up with uh, a few other aluminum panels and, and a copper panel and uh, just a nice little decorative wall hanging but um, that shows you some of the potential that you could do with that embossing with the English wheel it's just a really cool little idea and uh, it's got unlimited potential so that's it for tonight from Pro Shaper. That's embossing on the English wheel. Please subscribe, like, leave your comments, tell other people about my channel. We're trying to build a channel. So share it on Facebook. Thank you. It's Ray Shaleen from Charlton, Massachusetts.